Alright, welcome back. Here we are again with the micro drive laser diode driver and this time I've connected it to a Blu-ray laser diode. This is the PHR-803T Blu-ray laser diode that has been harvested from uh, Xbox 360 external HD DVD drive it's in the axis module here and you can purchase this from the web link that's uh, shown on your screen right now um, I will also post the web link for this laser diode driver, the micro drive driver again and that should be shown on your screen right now and once again I've configured the driver's output to um, to 106 milliamps and as an input I'm using three CR123 batteries uh, once again this battery is not part of the, of the circuit because um, uh, it, it was there, it, it's all taped together and I'm, I'm just not using this one so I've got a total of 9 volts supply from this this stack here I've got a simple on off switch um, that's connected to obviously to laser diode driver once again this is just a bench bench uh, setup just to demonstrate the driver and the laser diode and on the left here I've got three test subjects which I will be um, subjecting to the, the beam from the laser diode just to, to demonstrate how powerful this beam is and what, what it will do and here I've got a, a black box on the very left I've got a, a plastic headphone adapter there and um, a uranium marble uranium marbles are very reactive to ultraviolet light so um, I'm just going to Turn the turn the switch on right now, and we'll see what happens. Okay, turn the switch right on. Okay, diode is putting out the, the ultraviolet beam. So the first subject, is I'm going to shine it on the box. As you can see, it's smoking. It's already burning the box. Second subject, the um, plastic uh, adapter, and it's already smoking. And the third subject be the uh, uranium marble. This is glowing bright green when I'm sh shining the uh, ultraviolet beam to it. And here we are again, melting plastic. And I'm going to turn it off. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this um, video. Obviously, this is not the best way to use the the laser diode um, the ideally would host all this in a small portable and um, carrying uh, project box or something that you can use to carry it around with you okay thanks for watching bye